Have you been applying for credit cards, getting turned down, and taking massive hits to your credit score every time they run a credit check? In this video, I'm going to show you five credit cards you can pre-qualify for without a hard inquiry on your credit report. So before you start applying for credit cards aimlessly, you're going to want to watch this video. What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Currency Counts where I cover all things money. Did you know if you have more than six inquiries on your credit report per year, you'll see a credit score decrease with every credit card or loan you apply for? To stop that from happening, you're going to want to make sure your next application only runs an initial soft pull on your credit report, meaning you can check to see if you're pre-approved for as many cards offering soft pull credit checks without any impact to your credit score. But what you're going to need to know is, let's say you're pre-approved, you accept terms. Before they ship out your card, they're going to run a hard pull on your credit report, which is worth it because if you're applying for credit cards anyway, getting hit with a hard inquiry and not getting approved, you just wasted one hard pull credit check. Okay, I think I covered that enough. Let's get into why we're here. Number five, the Fortiva card, and you can find them at myfortiva.com. So you're gonna go to My Fortiva. You're gonna click right here, see if you pre-qualify. You're gonna enter your basic information. The thing about the Fortiva card is there's only one credit card. It doesn't have uh, multiple credit cards or different offers you can apply for. It's just this one Fortiva credit card. But the nice thing is you can pre-qualify for up to $1,000. So as with all these cards, what you're gonna do here is you're gonna see if you pre-qualify enter all your personal information down here when you check this little box it's going to be to obtain a soft inquiry from your credit reporting agency meaning no hit to your credit with the fortiva card you get access to a free credit score the card is unsecured, which means you don't have to put any upfront money into it. Uh, you get transaction alerts, you get 0% fraud liability, and you get an instant decision when you apply. And these are in no particular order. Since these cards do approve people with bad credit, terms for all these cards are going to be similar. APR in the high 20s to mid 30s, and some type of annual fee. I won't get into the terms of each card, but if you think these cards aren't for you, if you don't like the terms and you do have good credit, I have another video with five pre-qualification cards for good credit. All right, so number four, the Mission Lane Visa. And with the Mission Lane Visa, you're gonna get the quick instant decision. You're gonna have access to higher credit limits over time. So if you have six months of on-time payments with Mission Lane, you're gonna have access to a higher credit limit automatically. All you need to do is go to Mission Lane, click on see if I'm approved, fill out your information, the same as the Fortiva card, and you're all set. Number three is the Indigo MasterCard, and you can find them at indigocard.com. So with the Indigo card, all you're gonna do is go to pre-qualify now, the same thing as the previous two cards, you're going to enter your information and they'll give you an instant decision to let you know if you're pre-approved. With the Indigo card, there's really no bells and whistles like rewards, miles, or a free credit report. It's just a credit card that approves people with bad credit. Number two, the Credit One Visa, and you can find them at creditonebank.com. Now with Credit One, there's three different products. So there's going to be the Platinum Five Time Visa, Platinum Visa for Rebuilding Credit, and the Credit One Bank American Express card. But just because they offer three products doesn't mean you're going to be approved for all three products. Doesn't even mean you're going to be approved for one but most likely if you have bad credit you're going to be pre-approved for the platinum visa for rebuilding credit so if you are approved for the credit one bank american express card you might want to think twice before accepting because the american express card doesn't let you carry a balance like visa or mastercard so let's say for example you're approved for a thousand dollars you spend that four thousand at the end of the month you're going to have to pay that full balance so it's even telling you here the credit level to be approved for each of these cards so the platinum five-time visa it's going to be average to excellent credit same thing with the american express card average to excellent credit the platinum visa for rebuilding it's going to be rebuilding credit now it doesn't tell you the credit score it's just going to depend on a lot of things but the nice part about it is you can check to see if you're pre-qualified without that hit to your credit score so another plus about the credit one visa is there's credit line increases they're not promising you anything like the mission lane card where after six months of on-time payments they're going to raise your credit limit but what it says here is you're going to get regular account reviews for credit line increases again not promising anything and the last card this card i'd recommend if you're trying to establish or re-establish credit because they offer multiple types of cards for every credit situation so as your credit starts to grow so will your relationship with this company in the form of on-time payments which will give you access to exclusive offers higher limit lower apr credit cards so capital one has a platinum mastercard the venture x rewards the venture rewards venture one rewards for good credit quicksilver rewards and i can go on and on but they do have a lot of different products so 
So for the most part with Capital One, you're gonna get approved for one card or another. So if you have bad credit, if you have really bad credit, you might get approved for the Platinum Secured card, which you'd have to put a deposit down, $49.99 up to $200. And you'll have an initial credit line of $200. Now that's if you have rock bottom, the worst credit. One of the ways that you won't get approved for the Capital One card is if you previously have had a Capital One account and defaulted on it. But if you've never had a Capital One card, you have good chances of being approved. Same process as the other cards I've mentioned. You're going to click on see if I'm pre-approved, enter your information, boom, it's going to let you know. A few steps and you get an instant decision. I hope this video was helpful. Links in the description for all the cards we talked about today. Thanks for watching. Check you on the next one.